Oh, hello, everybody. How is everyone doing? It is your boy, myself. He's here, and we're back with more. Baby, all right, all right, all right, okay. We are back with Cole Phelps, okay. We're gonna resume, okay. We so much shit happened last episode. If you didn't watch it, oh my god, the guy is smiling. Shit, that's scary, huh? Gas, bloody farting man. Oh shit, uh -huh. I know we got demoted to arson, so people committing crimes to do with fire. So look at this guy, he just flipped something on this insta heat thing and now he's screwing it back in huh this is a different kind of crime guys he wants to maybe burn down the building by uh you know doing something dodgy Ooh. <laughs> don't worry all right just because i got demoted to arson does not mean that i'm a bad detective okay everyone so what if i'm sleeping around um Cole okay. phelps joins Hello. the arson squad today i am cold <laughs> How'd you like parking that German whore, Phelps? Oh, you heard about that? <laughs> Phelps oh. is up before a review board in December. Oh. Till then, he works the arson desk. Okay. End of story. I'm, a, Phelps. I'm up for review. Yes, I don't care what you did or <gasps> didn't do, Phelps. Uh, I, I hear you're a good case man. I'm a good case if man. You cop on my detail, ah. I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. I'm sorry. Do we have an understanding? Damn. Yes, sir. We don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can what? it? Tell I'm not that. a rat. So what? Phelps, if I'm I... partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know I that, I don't do Jeff. partners. <laughs> you do now, Biggs. Ah, uh, Biggs. Social I've basket got a new cases partner like too? you two should get along just fine. <laughs> Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. Biggs this is, is my ours. new partner. There are no ropes. <laughs> it shouldn't yeah. take long, then. <laughs> Start with these two. House Ooh. fires. House fires? 326 South Kenmore Ooh. Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Out of town? Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Ah. Fire brigade will be on location. Okay. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's uh. for you to find out, Detective. <laughs> Get out of here. Listen, all right. Both was... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm a, I'm a complete laughing stock with Straight all my police buddies. Come on, bro. It. Just because. I slept with that random woman when I have a wife and child at home. Listen, why does everyone in town know about me and know that I porked this German broad? Okay, we made it to Stefan's house uh, because uh, it was burnt down. Oh, was this the house at the beginning? Whoa. Oh, the family's there. <laughs> my house, my house. Oh, bruh. That would actually be really There's sad, guys, if your house burned down. The job's done properly. You oh. think it was deliberate? Nah. Oh. That's real pain in your face. Oh. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. Oh. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Okay. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike <laughs> Brannigan, Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps. Oh. It's okay, Brannigan. His he doesn't want to shake my hand. hand. Oh. No offense, Phelps. What? No, I am offended. What do you mean? You, have anything? you just did. You fired to shake late my last hand. Night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Oh. It's like the only thing they ever won in their lives. They won a competition. On, That's I'd suspicious. Say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. They don't. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Or they don't have insurance. That means that. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Oh. Where it is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. Wait, what? That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Okay, they, they just said they were planning to knock down on, these houses uh, to build new houses for uh, people who came back from the army. That's quite suspicious. Maybe they didn't want to sell their house, so then someone burned it down. Oh, bro, I feel sorry for these guys, man. They didn't have any insurance. That means they're not going to get any money. They're, they're, they're basically screwed. They own just a pile of rubble. They're going to have to sell their house now. Uh, because they got no money. They got no choice. Oh, you can already see the crime happening, guys. Oh, look, here's the Insta Heat thing. Oh. Recently serviced. Recently serviced? Guys, someone flipped the switch. Where is it? Mr. Stevens? Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Diggs. LAPD. Yeah. Hello. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Yeah, sorry about your house. No, Stevens. No, Stevens. Why you do you say it like that? He was out of we town. Price. 
Oh. We had a wonderful time. Oh. Get home to this. Oh. You still have the tickets. Sure. Guys, I think the competition was a way to lure them out of the house. It's a fake thing. It's a formality, but we'll need oh. to speak to the issuing agent. Yeah, I don't think... I think it, it was rigged that they won, maybe, the competition. Okay, all right, let's talk to him about the, the competition. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Yeah, yeah, Stephens? Yeah. Weekend at Catalina Island. Uh-huh. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Oh, this okay. That seems honest. Let's be say truth. Did you enter any kind of competition? Did he enter? Uh, my wife filled in a flyer. Oh. This lady just rung up and told us we won. Whoa. It's the first time I ever won anything. Ah, oh, now you've got no house. <laughs> the Redevelopment Fund. <laughs> Did they offer to buy you out? Oh. They're building new houses. Okay. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. See? But I never bargained with them. Oh, he never even bargained with them. Oh, that seems suspicious. Okay, I think he's telling me the truth, but he, he's, I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should maybe doubt him. I actually have no idea. I, I'm gonna remove an answer. Uh, oh, he's not telling the truth. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. He was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Oh. oh my house is the center lot. Oh. And I have to take the price regardless. Damn. Looks like it. See? It was I've their got plan. No choice. I have to put a roof over my family. Oh, bro. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. That's who did it then. All right. The development fund. The guys that are building the houses, maybe? I don't know. Seems a bit too suspicious. Him, you see the papers. Oh. I guess he's thinking about his own family. <laughs> I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Aw, oh, come on, bruh. All right. I'm, 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 I'm not a broken man. <laughs> so, there was also another house fire uh, that happened last night. Uh, we're not too sure if the house fires are linked in any way. Um, Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Oh. Hey, Biggs. Hey, Biggs. We. We? You have a partner? Yeah, hello. What gives? This I'm, is Cole Phelps. I'm, hello. You may have read about him. Oh. Oh. Now I get it. <laughs> Come Cole on. Phelps. Welcome to the Why does everyone know? Everyone reads the newspapers? Family of four found dead in their bed. They would in the Here's house? Yeah, another one. Look that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Oh, insta heat Before again! Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Damn. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Oh, that's so sad. They were in the house. No, their bodies are here. Mal. Oh. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. Oh. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. Oh. All in dead from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with the faulty water heater. Could be. Ooh, could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. Yeah, insta -heat. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? Oh. This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. Oh. I'm an arson for a reason. Oh. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps. Not oh. You. But you're a good case, man. I'm the oh. best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Even the about. coroner that's doesn't sir, feel sorry for me. Fair. Oh, man. Come on. Is it really that big of a deal that I cheated on my wife and my child sitting at home asking, Where's that? Oh, bro! It was a mum, dad, and two kids. Incidents up as acts of God. Oh. is this a clue? What the hell is it? What the hell even is this? Oh, it's the it's the coil. Hey, is this significant? Oh, this was regulator what was split at the beginning. Good find. The regulator Detective. valve. This is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? Her? They were supposed to be going away. They want a trip somewhere. What? But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. Oh, what are the it was. Do you know who ran the company? Link. It... Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica. Oh, that's been a big help. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's, that's crazy. Right across the street. I've seen him before. 
He likes fire. What? <laughs> the guy across the street likes fire? <laughs> Wait, what? We gotta go catch him now? Oh, come on, man. I just wanna look at the burning building. Oh, that's stop. right. Oh, LAPD. stop. LAPD. Tackle him. Tackle him. Come on, 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 come on,
Uh-huh. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. <laughs> Jeez. Evidence of an explosion. <laughs> Just asking. No obvious sign of accelerants. Uh-huh. Wiring looks intact. Uh-huh. Come and take a look at this. Come and take a look at this. Uh, what is it? Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Ah. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Recently serviced, just like the other one. They were both recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. Oh. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. A bright penny? You have a gas supply. Uh Uh-huh. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. Oh, okay. You have a regulator valve. Oh. And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Huh. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Ah. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Work it out the chain of events. Why? All right. What? Just show me, you damn sh- dumb shit. Okay, so I'm pretty sure um, the regulator valve uh, is the reason why the house blew up, right? Okay, let's put the balloon here. So this goes next to this. So like that, maybe? Okay. I'll light your okay. pilot. Turn the gas. Oh, turn pull the, the gas lever on. on the left to turn on the gas. Okay, here we go. Oh, lights the fire. Oh, oh, exploded. So that's how it's being done. Maybe there could be a fault with these valves. Oh, I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Huh? Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number two six two. Down. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. <laughs> See you at the next show. See you at the next show. Okay, so let's go to Insta Heat Factory. Oh, the Insta Heat Factory. Damn, do they know that these valves are faulty? I don't think they're faulty. It's someone messing with them, flipping the valve so that it that it causes uh, an explosion in the house. LAPD oh. detectives, ma'am. Hello? We need to speak to someone in charge. Yeah. I see. Who's in charge? Well, here? duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. Racist? You should find him in his office. Okay, don't like the name of that. Here Detective he is. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. Arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Oh. Pressure uh. regulator from a Model 70. Uh huh. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's gonna notice. It's been flipped. We have a problem. We have a this problem. This has been tampered with. Oh. What? <laughs> we knew that. You see this diaphragm? Oh. It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Oh. Okay. It's been reversed. It's been reversed. <laughs> it's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? Yeah. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. <laughs> well, if you think, well, if someone can just uh, open up the Insta Heat box, <laughs> take this out, flip it, and then put it back in, I think that that's, I'm gonna doubt him. Look at his face. <laughs> You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Yeah, come on now. Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed. Oh, <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. Damn. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. Oh. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not They're all not faulty. All safe <laughs> Whoa, man, that's really bad. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? Prone? They uh, tend to go after a while. The what? rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. What? So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Uh, sure, of course sure, they are. Of course they are. <laughs> Is he lying to me? Cause I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. Yeah. You're desperate to cover your sales. Oh. And how are you going to prove that, detective? To save Name me money. Name one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Name one of your guys. Oh, I can name one of your guys. Um, It was uh, serviced. What about oh, Reginald man. Barley? You know about Varley. Oh, he's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? Oh. I need guys, detective. This boom is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Damn. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. <laughs> oh, wow. He had it literally just under his desk. Thank you, sir. There. Around a dozen of them. What? We're going to interview Housing all of them? going crazy. I don't have time for this shit. This is a long shot. Yeah. We are not going to rouse that whole list. <laughs> I want to run it by R and I. Oh. Cross reference for arsonists. Oh, good, See if good any idea. Of these guys have previous, sir. I need to use your phone. Yeah. Brian, Matthew. Oh, for we're getting court. a few people attempted who murder. actually down have to assault uh, charge. criminal charges. Wow. There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. What? Thanks. You've what? been a big help, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, so three people's <laughs> names people have criminal before, records. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we can talk to him Do you have more? an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Dang. Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Oh, okay. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. Varley you can't is a good people. guy. These guys have lockers. He has. Yes, they do. But my men charge. have the righteous and privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? <laughs> Show him and keep quiet. Yeah, keep quiet, you dumb shit. Okay, I'm the LAPD. I do what I want. Oh, look, guys. Whoa. A company went through thousands of these in the war. What is it? Still got eaten alive. What? T repels mosquitoes? Look, it's a coil! <gasps> oh, maybe this is what they use. problem with bugs. To, uh, you know, um, start the fire. Look at it. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Racing? No, oh. I didn't know that. It's a favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Ooh. Gives them time to get away. It does. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. <laughs> Hello? What's going on? Oh! <gasps> Is someone tampering with my car? No, look, he's doing the same thing. He's flipping the coil again. Uh oh, guys, this is bad. It's the it's the guy we want. Where is he? This is the guy that did it, probably. But I I'm pretty sure he was hired by the development fund to, to start the fires. Damn. You drive. Okay, so we have go three uh, potential All people right. that could be the, the guy that did it. All right, let's first interview Clemens. Oh, okay, so we're at Clemens' work site. There he is. Uh, this might be our guy? Oh. <laughs> Big LAPD. We want some answers, and we want them yeah. quick. Answer. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's this all about? What's tell me about? what you want. Just tell me what you want. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, uh, let's... You know Reginald Barley? No? Nope. Can't say I do. Nah, 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 nah. He does. All right, look at his face. Doubt him. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. Oh. He wants to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 All I know about Farley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Oh, told you. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. Oh. Oh, so he's saying that Varley is the guy that did it. Not him. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them uh-huh so what so what <laughs> okay so i gotta push him more i think so let's doubt him is he hires arsonists does it Ooh. i've worked as a fitter all my life put everything i had into that house oh. and my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in settlement oh she's blowing six two at a time while i'm at work and she gets the house oh yeah i burnt it all right oh set fire to that and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Damn! Sorry about the Ross Clemens. <laughs> you did the right thing. <laughs> you did the right Shakes his hand. <laughs> Burns down his ex-wife's house. Good job, man. Well done. I'm proud of you. Do you know Matthew Ryan? Oh. No. Don't what do know you the mean? name. Yes, you do. That's a lie. You. He had one of your pamphlets in your locker. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? <laughs> what proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? <laughs> okay, no. I, I think there was a plan, uh, a pamphlet in uh, his locker. We found a pamphlet in your locker. Uh -huh. Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Oh. Hueck might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. Oh, he does. <laughs> All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Damn, okay. Can I get back to work now? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Yeah, he ain't our guy, guys. All right, cool. Okay, so we got Varley and Ryan. Uh, Ryan's wanted for murder, and Varley uh, maybe could be our guy that's being paid. So let's check him out next. So here we are at Varley's work site. Uh, now, this guy's wanted for murder, LAPD, right? Varley. Oh, no. 
Don't do anything Stop stupid. Or I'll shoot. Oh shit, he ran! <laughs> stop or I'll shoot! Well, you didn't shoot <laughs> and he didn't stop, so now we've got to chase him. Come on, put your hand down, put your hand down! Come on, put your hand down! Oh! Stop or I will shoot! Oh, we didn't have to tackle him. Oh, hell yeah! Wait, <laughs> why? <laughs> if you run, <laughs> whatever. Take a wild guess. You're the same Reginald Varley. The Detroit Police have an outstanding warrant. The Detroit Police. So far, I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Damn, Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Damn. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Whoa. Until then, your guest is arson. You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Damn. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? <laughs> Take him away, officer. Oh, shit. Okay, he's saying that he didn't do the arson job. Uh, and that it was put on him. So, you can drive. Um, yeah. So, maybe Bye. he wasn't our guy Where either. Uh, so, maybe Ryan is the one that's being paid off. Who knows? Oh, shit. I think this is our guy, guys. This is our guy. Look at him. Are you Matthew Ryan? Are you Matthew Ryan? Don't Who's run. Asking? Don't Detective run. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Don't arson. run. You heard the man. You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Uh oh, no, he's gonna Hold run. Hold it, Ryan. Oh no. <laughs> Ryan, come on. They always have run. Oh, come on, guys. Guys, come on, guys. Eh, stop. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, all right, that's one way to stop him. Put your hands where your I can see them. I can see them. Damn. Why Cole. did you run, Ryan? Yeah, why? I was scared. Scared? A reason to be scared, Ryan. Yeah. Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Oh. Okay. I think this is our guy, guys. Let's just interview him. Maybe he could tell us some stuff. Damn. I mean, it's cool that we got the arsonists, but uh, we got to look at the bigger picture. Why was he hired to burn down these houses? All right. Who who ordered him to burn down these houses? Police station again. Damn. Let's interview our suspects, boy. I have two suspects. No. Phelps, oh. you got nothing. Oh. Biggs. <laughs> Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Barley's in two. What? Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? <laughs> Come on, folks. Oh, why is everyone being so mean? Okay, let's interview Ryan. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your First? chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yeah. Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does yes. that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know that's a lie. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. Um, it's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? What campaign? Uh, it's the leaflets that you have. That's the campaign that he's talking about. He's pamphlets found in his locker your locker yeah. is full of pamphlets clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people sure oh. i spread the pamphlets <laughs> a guy has to do something <laughs> insta heat heaters break down every day damn they're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from hephaestos whoa insta -heat bought out hephaestos them vulcan pyro and a bunch of other companies Ooh. and you still work for them a guy has to work. Oh. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You work it out. Damn, he hates the company that he works for, but he still works for them just for the money. <laughs> you know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70? Yes, he does. He does. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a lie, right? If you know enough to do your job, you know enough because to do that Because he You're obviously lying, does. Lying. And how do you think you can prove that? Damn. <laughs> but how can I prove it? <laughs> um, can I prove it? Um, factory manager Ivan Rasik testifies to ease of pressure regulate uh, tampering. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's oh. a common repair. Oh. Are you calling him a liar? Oh. Okay. So I know how it's done. Okay. Well, what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. Okay. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? Ooh. I won't tell you. I won't tell you. Why not? <laughs> what can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Come on. Nothing. 
Nothing. <laughs> That's it. Nothing. <laughs> well, I know he's not being truthful, <laughs> but I don't have any evidence to prove that he knows them. So doubt. Yeah. I think suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Damn. Suburban? What's what? that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Oh, so the other guy in the other interview room has a deal with those guys so this isn't our um, this isn't the guy that did it then you have a history of violence i have no such thing i have no so i i looked up your police record dude you're lying <laughs> and how exactly are you gonna prove that <laughs> come on we looked it up ryan's criminal record literally right here you were charged with attempted murder Ryan. attempt it was a court case no criminal liability was the verdict. Whoa. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. Whoa. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with Whoa, it. Whoa, that's... What would you do? That's why Which he hates company? this company. Asbestos Water Heater Company. Whoa. Okay, so that's what happened. He wants vengeance for his family. Okay, so we have an option to charge him or to leave. I, I don't think this is our, this is our guy. for the moment, Ryan. Um, so I can go? So sure. I can go? As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, <laughs> you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Damn. Okay, yeah, so this isn't our guy. Uh, let's interview the other guy. Here he is, Varley. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. Uh -huh. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Ryan <laughs> at Pinko Bath. <laughs> have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Yes, you have. Family by the name of Sawyer. Yep, yep. Maybe. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. <laughs> I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I don't. I'm flat out on new installations. You're new. No. You, no. You were. We found why are your you name. You, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> <laughs> How can you prove that I was? How can I prove that I was? Well, I know that you were because look, uh, the heater serviced by Ryan. No, the heater serviced by Varley. Uh, Your name is on the inside door of their water. Heater. Exactly. Okay. You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> Suburban. Yeah, they wanted that guy out. See? Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweet. Oh, I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. Oh, okay. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer. Oh, <laughs> never. What? I got principal. No, what do you mean? Ryan just told me. <laughs> okay, he's lying. Ryan just told How me that you suburban do. Suburban put the squeeze on you. Did they find out about your record? Oh, there's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Well, I know Ryan literally said that you are, right? Um, Matthew Ryan testifies to Varley conspiring with suburban redevelopment. There you go. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. Oh. He'll testify in court. Oh. Suburban, they got real-time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. Okay. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took the money. Oh, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. <laughs> okay, so... What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta-Heat Model 70 do? Oh. Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. Oh. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No. No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. Out of your mind? He out of your mind? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, th I know he did it. All right, he, 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 I know, I know, I know he did it. Uh, do I have any evidence? I don't believe you, Varley. Um, I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. Oh. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? To huh? contribute to this fire? Well, we did find mosquito coils in his locker, and that could start a good fire. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. Oh. Found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh. oh, hang on, hang on. Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker's full of... 
stupid pamphlets. <laughs> I thought he used them for camping. Oh, so now he's saying that Ryan put that there. Man, <laughs> I don't even know now. This is hard. I, I thought it's Varley. I don't, I don't think it's Ryan. I think I should charge Varley. Or maybe I should charge them both. Oh, I can't do that. Man, so he's saying that Ryan did it? Oh, We're done for I now. have no idea. So what happens? <laughs> I don't know. You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. Oh. Yeah, he's saying that he... Remember when we took him away? He said that you can't put the arsons on me. Damn, guys. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, I will maybe say that Ra we should charge Ryan. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't want to get it wrong, but they make it so hard. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging. I didn't you mean to do that. Series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer. I just wanted to talk. Henry Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Oh, shit. Maybe I made a mistake. I didn't want to charge him. I just wanted to talk to him. Uh, oh, this is real. Okay. Let's just... It could have been either Phelps, of them. What okay. you did to your wife and kids uh, was on American. On American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? <laughs> You're here to listen to mine. <laughs> what I was going to say before I was interrupted... <laughs> Was you did a good job on the Stefan oh, Sawyer case. Oh, he's happy. We don't often get results in arson. Ah, so well done. Ah, what about me? What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? <laughs> what you get is another case. Damn. A bad one, unfortunately. Damn. Did we get our guy then? I mean, we're still working the arson cases, so maybe a house might burn down in the future. Whoa. Okay, Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. I mean, I would say that's good because uh, Matthew Ryan, I don't really trust him. And the other guy was already going to get convicted for the murder that he uh, was charged for in Detroit. So, two criminals have, have been put away. I mean, I'm not sure if Ryan did it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, anyway, that one was a hard one. I'm not sure we got our guy. Oh, we're having a, another war flashback. <laughs> Damn. Cole Phelps in Okinawa. Damn. We get to see the kind of person Cole was in the army. Damn. I kind of feel sorry for the people that were in the army. Damn, jeez. Okay, move in. Throw the grenade. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Flamethrower. Whoa. Burn down the house. Oh, look, we're burning down the houses and now we're working arson. What is the irony in that? Damn. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. Ooh. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Damn. Damn. We have some beef with this Just guy. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a f***ing liability. We're here to kill <laughs> Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. <laughs> no one wants to serve under him. He's bad f***ing luck. Can it? Damn. We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Damn. Okay. Shit. What, why are they showing me these cutscenes? I feel like uh, this guy is going to come up later on in, in, the, in the story, maybe. A walk in the Elysian fields. <laughs> what the shit is this? Some guy's making origami? Damn. Who is this guy? And why is he hanging all of his origami swans <laughs> uh, on his roof? Damn. I mean, we get it, dude. You can make swans with paper. Can you make anything else? <laughs> House fire. Bad one. Uh oh. At least four Vicks. Oh. Get out there and find out what you can. Four people burned Addresses. alive. 650 North Hobart. Oh, damn. Do you think it was uh, an accident again, or do you think it was on purpose? Let's find out. So, new day, new case, new house fire. Um, four people apparently burned to death in the house. They were still in the house when the house burned down. Damn, poor guys, man. Imagine burning alive. And look, it's at the same 
area as the development fund. I, I, it's got to be on purpose. Why? Why are all the houses in this particular area burning down? Oh, whoa. Morelli, Mike, we recovered a picture of the family. Oh. Look at them. They all burned they alive. Be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Damn. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. They've been moved? moved? I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Huh? Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Uh, look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. Huh. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. Oh. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It Whoa. still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Yeah. Damn, look at them. They were all put in this position to to, to burn. What are they doing? Damn, yeah, why are they kneeling? Their effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Whoa. They were praying? <laughs> you shouldn't pray if your house is burning down. You should run. Oh, this is them. Bruh. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? Damn. And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? <laughs> heaven. No, I have not. <laughs> Show some respect. Show some respect. Come on, bruh. It's our boy. Oh. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phil? Yeah. We got the wrong guy. We got the wrong guy. It doesn't I explain it. why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. Guilt? For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. Oh. He expects the houses to be empty. He does, he does. He's trying to redeem himself. Oh. Probably thought they'd be happier together. Oh. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. What? I know you had it rough lately. But you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. Compartmentalize? You could be right. <laughs> what? Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Yeah, me too. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? <laughs> Might fit, Cole. Maybe. But I don't think we could ever prove it. Damn. There's very little evidence. Oh! Evidence? Bruh. Oh, <laughs> Albert, What's that check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same ammo. <laughs> Damn, sure, he couldn't even cope. Oh, Be look, he's outside cold. throwing up. Oh, God, I'm oh, God. Oh. Hey, you so something good? finally got to you. Oh. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. <laughs> you keep riding me, and you won't be pretty much longer. Oh, don't get angry. We can get this guy, Herschel. Yeah, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. Whoa. Things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. Whoa. You're not gonna get this guy. Damn. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable f. Whoa. End of story. Whoa. You getting this? Damn. Herschel's angry. He had war You remember flashbacks. the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis. We're winners too. Oh, Their name was on that list. I knew it. I knew it. Nice. I knew it. We should take a look around. Work the neighbors, see what they know. Damn. Go across the street. We should. Okay, I'll try this side. Damn. Oh, oh, insta heat yet again. Of course. Looks like the same model. Volley. Volley. Um, service this one. Not Ryan. LAPD. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Terrible. Imagine after having won that weekend away. Ah. Oh. What's your name? Why didn't they go away then? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Dudley Foreman. What's it to you? Okay, this guy wouldn't lie to me, right? Did you see or hear anything that might have? Look. Oh, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's it, right? Truth? Maybe it's not though. Actually, he he is moving his face around a lot. Uh, oh, okay, it's not lie. Uh, okay, uh, doubt. Oh, you didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. Ooh. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Oh, see? People who don't sell their houses get their house burned down. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Uh huh. Elysian Fields. Uh -huh. You must know them. 
their billboards. Uh-huh. That Monroe character beaming down at you. <laughs> We've had an offer for the house. Oh, did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you just said y you know they didn't want to sell, so we got to doubt him? <laughs> okay, look at his face. Yeah, yeah, we're doubting him. Yeah, yeah, look at his face. Look at his face. Uh... Oh, Whatever yeah. you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. Damn. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you yeah. to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. Oh. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Damn. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Oh, he's ruining it for all of us. <laughs> you said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Oh. Uh. Then I find out they were still in. Uh. Who was running the competition? What? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, that's the truth, right? His face is straight, I think. Let's say truth, because his face is straight. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. Oh. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> the people that were still thinking about it. Hmm, interesting. Cigarette butts? Is this useful? Oh, it is? What? Someone was keeping watch. Oh. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Oh. It looks distinctive. Okay, there's multiple cigarettes here. So you think someone was smoking? Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. Oh. I don't know that imprint anywhere. Damn. Okay, we have his shoe size too? Oh, we can talk to him about the suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Uh, okay. His face is doing weird things again. <laughs> Let's doubt him. You sure, Mr. Okay. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Oh. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. What? Now he's... Kind of tall. What? Skinny, though. Oh. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up <laughs> hat, and no hair. <laughs> I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Ah... You just so time happen to remember that. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. Oh. I can get it for you if you like. Yeah, yeah, get that it. Would be great. Yeah. <gasps> Origami. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Oh. A little piece of paper. Oh. It's complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take um, a look? Sure. Yeah, we saw the origami guy at the start. Huh. Paper crane. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. Oh. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. 1,000 of them. That's why this guy's been folding them so many. <laughs> he wants hey, to make a wish. Don't break it. Don't break it. <gasps> I'm not. I'm oh. folding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Oh, okay. Ah, he has the same flyer, maybe? Oh. I see you already have one. Yeah, I do. There it is. Ah, oh, win a trip. This is the competition When did the flyer, flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. Damn. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Damn, they keep putting it in people's uh, uh, mailboxes. No wonder why you're going to enter the competition. Okay, so we're at the Rancho Escanado. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. Um, There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, so another house burned down? Uh, why is there protesters here? I'm not here? gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. This is not Whoa. This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. <laughs> now step back or I'll lock you up for a fray. Right. Son of a bitch. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? We gotta be our protesters? Wait, why? What's going on? Oh, get wrecked. Damn. Take that. And that. And that. And this. And some of that. And some of that. And some of this. And that. And that. And that. And this. Oh, knockout, bitch. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna arrest all these people. Wait, Good what? thing you showed up when you did, detectives. <laughs> Those folks were baying for blood. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. So, anyway. So this house burned down, too? Damn. What? Wait, all these houses have been burned down. Wait, what's going on here? Um, what am I looking at? The wall? The bricks? What about them? Poor. Water is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? Oh. Okay. You expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Ah, poor cement. Doesn't appear quality. to be any wall Whoa! Look so how faulty like it is. Cheap. 
It was built on the cheap. Okay, we are now at Elysian Fields. Now, Elysian Fields are the company that are um, in charge of all these developments. Uh, now, we know uh, that they are paying off people to commit these fires. But it's going to be hard to nail, like, the person in charge. We need to find out who's ordering them to do these things. May I help you, gentlemen? May I help you, gentlemen? I'd like to speak to Mr. Monroe. Yeah. I'm afraid it's impossible. Impossible? Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Um... Cut to the chase, sister. <laughs> is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. What? Shut so he up. hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere. This. Casino. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? Oh. That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Here he is. Come into my office. Come into my office. This is the guy that's on the posters, guys. You like a cigar? Oh, a cigar. Big boy. Oh. Sure, I'll have a cigar. Sure, I'll have Fix. some. <laughs> Damn, look. This is the planned... A uh, neighborhood. Damn, these houses look pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't mind living in one of these houses. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Oh. It's terrible, boy. Terrible. How can I help? How can I help? <laughs> I love this guy's voice. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. Oh. They're turning up all over town, boys. Boys. Can you imagine <laughs> the current demand for housing? Well, that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Coincidence? Explanation. Explanation? Um, Why, what's to explain? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Ah, okay. So his face looks pretty straight. Um, oh, he's doing something with his mouth now. <laughs> it's hard to read people now. It's so hard. Okay, let's remove an answer. Uh, okay, no, he's not lying. Uh, okay, now look at him. Uh, he has such a good poker face. I, I want to say truth, but I'm going to doubt. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Whoa. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Yeah. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Yes, yes, I am. It is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Ooh. Is that good advertising? Is it? What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? Yeah. My company runs many promotions. <laughs> I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. You're not familiar with that one? Well, I have the flyer, so we can say lie? Level with me, um, Mr. Because we have you the flyer? The we have evidence? Office. You can believe whatever you like, son. <laughs> You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. <laughs> well, we do have proof. We have so many flyers. We have the flyers with the competition with your face on it. Ah. Your face is all over the flyers. Mr. See? Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. Oh. My face is the brand. <laughs> it's on all our advertising. <laughs> okay. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police... Uh, Part of the suburban redevelopment. The mayor and the chief of police. You want to accuse them of murder as well? Ooh, maybe that it's, it's all uh, a big conspiracy. Maybe made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. Ooh, <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes <laughs> so that I can sell them new ones? <laughs> what happens to your plan? Maybe <laughs> if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell. Oh, we work around them. Business finds a way. We work around them. That's the American way. That's the American way. Okay. Um, uh, I I don't want to say truth because I need to push him more. So I need to say doubt. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress yeah. is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. Damn. Okay. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Ooh. Most people see sense. Most people, huh? What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? Oh. One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend. Oh. Or was before the unfortunate conflagration. What happened? Investment building code regulation. Absolutely. <laughs> Only the best for our returning heroes. <laughs> okay, but we know the house that we just inspected had poor cement quality. You're lying, Monroe. 
There's something out of kilter about that development. It was Son, I've had enough of you oh. and your fidgety friend. <laughs> There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. <laughs> well, no, we do. We have poor cement quality. We, we, know, we know that. Yeah. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and oh. the mortar is faulty. Oh. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Damn. Every building is built to a budget, boys. <laughs> boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Huh. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? <laughs> yes, maybe. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. Oh. I didn't think so. Damn. The contractors I use for waybills. Um. You suppose it could be any of them? Huh. I have a list of their names if it'd be of any help. That would huh. be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. Damn. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. <laughs> Damn. My secretary will provide you with that list. Oh. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Oh. Oh, he's making threats. See, this is the thing, guys. The people with money, they're, they're in control of everything. They're, they're paying off people to do their dirty work, and they take the blame while these guys with a lot of money just sit in their offices and, you know, get away with it. Okay, I think this guy knows more stuff, but, you know, we can't, we can't charge him. He's working with the police behind the scenes. Oh, here's the list. Uh, any names? Uh, Herbert Chapman. That's the guy, right? Herbert Chapman is on this Is that list. the guy that we caught uh, with the, the cigarette phone. and the matchsticks? We need sticks? to know where we're at with Chapman. Ah, the guy that likes to watch fires that we chased? Okay, I think he could be the guy. Well, I love the chase uh, till the minute okay. This is the girl that I cheated, I cheated with. Why, why are we, uh... Oh, Cole's watching. Damn. The things I love. Yeah. Buy me a drink, Cole. Oh, it's my partner. No. No. Not even for old time's sake. Oh, Not even for that. He's the one that ratted me out. I just remember. You're not going to ask me why I'm here? He's the Wouldn't one give you that the ratted me out. Get around to it. He told the police that I was with this woman because he followed me that night that I went around She's our in house. fine voice this evening. Oh. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... threats for someone who cares about them. Yeah. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Shut the hell up, man. We were good partners, okay? You just couldn't handle me being a good cop, huh? Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron Boy. What? You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Whoa. Thanks for your cooperation. He's a dirty officer. cop. Wow. Stay away. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea. Whoa. Boy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. What? I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Damn. Thanks for the drink, Cole. I didn't give you a drink. <laughs> Shit, guys. He's a dirty cop. Elsa's apartment. I'm still banging Elsa. <laughs> a message about Monroe. Oh. Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Oh. They're threatening his pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. Oh. Into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. <laughs> and so was McKelty when it's all said and done. <laughs> an asswipe. Damn, wiping ass? Guys, what an ass wipe. So, let's go to Chapman's apartment. This is the guy that we caught, uh, but we had to let him go because we're looking we didn't for have any evidence Chapman. on him. I'm looking for him too. Oh. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. Oh. He's definitely not here. Okay. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. He's out somewhere. He's out somewhere. Some kind of okay, let's check out his apartment, guys. Oh, is this his car? Oh, what look what around. he has in his car. He has this coil which can stop fires. Motive, opportunity, and oh, hard evidence. We have evidence now. We can link him to the crime, maybe. Oh, shit. He's got ammo. He's got a gun on him. He could be armed. 
Shotgun bullets? I think. No. Okay. Clearly He's armed. clearly armed. Okay, all right. So, oh, look, he even has the flyers here. Ah, oh, this is our guy. Definitely gives him opportunity. Oh, I think this is our guy. Holy cow. Oh. There he is. It's oh, Chap. He's there he is. the laundromat. Oh, there he is. Shit. Shit. He's seen us. Uh-oh. Cops. <laughs> Again. Oh, shit. Now he's got his weapon out. What the hell? Oh, shit. There he is. He's getting out. He's getting out. No, no. Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. <laughs> No! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Arrest him! Attackle him! Or do, do I have to shoot him? <laughs> no! I, he's right here! Get him! <laughs> Just get him! I don't want to shoot him! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, look. Oh. It's like we have our man, Cole. What? Did oh, I no. kill him? Not so sure. <laughs> no. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. Is that it? What are you talking about? What are you talking Fire about? I have benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. Huh. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. <laughs> yeah, why's he got a gun? Damn. So we did kill him? Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't want to kill him. I wanted to arrest him. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself oh. at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Damn. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd oh. be up for a bravery award. What? had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. <laughs> I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. Damn. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. Oh, what were you thinking, Phelps? They don't want me chasing after Calling him. Calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> he was a crook. <laughs> ah, good, good one. Damn, we're at the apartment. Ah, uh, Elsa's apartment. <laughs> Damn, I'm in love with Elsa, guys. Shit. A letter from Lou. Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. What? California fire and life. He worked for a lesion? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very huh. generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. Oh. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. Ooh. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Kelso? Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Oh. Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. Ooh. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. <laughs> Yeah. Elsa. Kelso, I went money. to the army with him. Let them get away with it. Or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Damn. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Whoa, shit. What did I do to Kelso in the army for us to hate each other like this? Whoa, really? That was it? That was the case? Damn. Okay, man. All right, so case solved. We got our guy, um, Chapman. But I, there's still something going on with Elysian Fields. Let's find out. House of Sticks. Yay. A new case. A new fire. Oh, my God. All right, so uh, we're in an office somewhere. Uh, oh, it's it's um, Mr. Kelso. Kelso. That's what the sign on the door says. So miss. he's a, a private investigator now. Ah, okay. So we're getting Elsa to do the the dirty work. Okay, so she received a settlement uh, because. Uh, her friend died. She was sent a check for $20,000 because... Uh, There's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If oh. you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Oh, but he's, she's not going to accept it. I don't accept the what settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? Oh. I think you're pushing your luck, lady. Damn. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? Huh. You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. Oh. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me get the case file. Damn. Come on, Kelso. We're now having to rely on Kelso. Because I can't... I can't do this case. Because the police... 
are dirty. We're working with dirty cops. So we have to get someone outside uh, of the police, a private investigator. There's got to be more in these files. There's got to be more in these files. Come on, Kelso, you can do it. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? <laughs> Wait, what? Of course not. <laughs> Wait, what? We're playing as Kelso now? What? So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly huh. are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Yeah. Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Thoroughly investigated. Okay. Uh, seems legit. I can't. She seems. Her face is straight. It's the truth. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. Yeah. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. Ooh. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Ooh. Flimsy. But heady. Heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. Oh. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Kelso? What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Oh. Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. Craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, She's moving her face a lot. Uh, I think... I, it is kind of straight. I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to remove an answer. Uh, okay, I knew that she wasn't lying. Uh, okay, I'll doubt her. Oh. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. Oh, okay. Um, you and Buck Walter weren't married? No. They weren't well, how did you married. Yeah, so why did he leave the money for you? We were... Family friends. Family friends. Okay. Uh, I don't have any evidence, but she's doing the same motion that the last one was, so doubt. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Oh. Well, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Tell me. You really want to know? Yes. Oh. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Intern? Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Whoa. You see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. Interesting. All right, Selectman. One final question. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Oh. Is that the usual? Um. Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Selectman? <laughs> the address is on the letter. Mr. Kelso. Shit, yeah, read it. The address. Not the phone number. Phone number? Trying to hit on my girl? Trying to hit on Cole Phelps' girl? What? What? Damn. Okay, well, she'll give you a phone number. Maybe, maybe it might help the case. Uh, that's it. No funny business now. Come on now. Oh, look, he's checking me out. It's just, what, Kelso? That's my girl. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Mr. Upstairs. Benson? What? I'm playing as Kelso now? What is going on? Oh, shit. Do you think uh, my uh, my boss is going to be like, listen, you better not investigate this case. Oh, here's my boss. He's, he's, he's dirty. Mr. Benson? Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? You want to see me, sir? Oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed <laughs> Elsa Lickman in the lobby. Oh. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. <laughs> like I said, Curtis, <laughs> this is a very strange case. Uh-oh. Let's see How his so, reaction Jack? when That lady, tell Elsa him. Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Ooh. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. Yeah. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Similar circles? Miss Lickman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. Oh. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? Oh. No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. Whoa. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your f***ing job. Whoa. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. <laughs> Fine, Jack. Fine. Damn, something's definitely going on. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. He's like, just take the money. Get her to take the money. Thanks, Mr. Benson. 
Thanks, Mr. Benson. Yeah, I'm calling him <laughs> by Mr. Benson now. <laughs> Shit, man. They're all corrupt. Everyone is corrupt, guys. All right. Oh, we're back here at the Elysian uh, office. Ooh, come on, Kelso. Cole needs you right now. Come on, you can do it. Uh, a letter, an order of demolition. Okay. Bulldozing, starting again. Huh. Oh, because the, the house is burnt down, so they're bulldozing them and starting again. Leland Monroe. Oh. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Yeah, delays will not be tolerated from uh, Mr. Monroe, the guy on the billboards, the guy that we, we interviewed. Okay. What's this? What's this? A receipt for cement? Huh, okay. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Huh. Someone is cutting corners. Someone's cutting corners. Hey! Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. Yes, I can. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. <laughs> I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And you deaf? <laughs> do I have to beat on you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Looks like you do. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Now we just randomly start fighting. What is going on? <laughs> All right, well, uh, okay, there you I go. I <laughs> came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. Oh. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. <laughs> Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> then I'll poke around in the rubble. Yeah. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. <laughs> but why do we have to fight about that? <laughs> so this is the house that was, uh... The place falls down this guy... and then they bulldoze. Oh. What gives here? What gives? Maybe he didn't sell either? What the hell is this? Not for construction. Look, it says not for... Oh, here we go. Keystone Films. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Oh, the house was built on really bad wood. No wonder why it, it collapsed. Uh-oh, who the hell was this guy? Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Is he gonna try and run me over with a bulldozer? What the hell's going on? <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> what? He just kills me? <laughs> what is going on? Come on, jump it, jump it, quick! We need time, we need more time! Shoot the driver, shoot the driver! Ah, shit! Run, no, run! No! <laughs> There's something funny about seeing him get run over by a bulldozer. Go, in the tunnel, in the tunnel! Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. He can't make it back here, right? Oh, shit. Maybe he can. Maybe he can. Up the ladder. Quick, quick. Oh. Oh, he crashed. What a dumb shit. What the hell? Are we going to arrest him? Wait, wait. We're not the police. We can't arrest him. <laughs> Why did he try to run me over? What? And I'm just going to leave? <laughs> Some guy just tried to kill me. What the hell? What is this guy problem? Just because I beat him up? He tried to run me over with a... With a bulldozer? So let's check out uh, the film company. Uh, Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Yeah, they've been here? buying wood no, not from here. here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? so? I found some lumber over there. Had the Keystone name printed on it. Oh. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talking. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Huh. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Nix. Mind if I take a look around? Uh, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> if someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, <laughs> I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Is there a key to the gate? All right, sure. Brian, no. for lunch. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. Delivery guys from Elysian Fields? They're working Fields. on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. So You'll have what? to hop it. I'll have to hop it? Wow. Okay. So they're buying their wood from a uh, old um, uh, film company, but it's not meant to be used for construction. It's meant to be used for props like this. Oh, what's this? We found a receipt. Whoa. So this is where their lumber comes from? Damn. They're buying the lumber from these guys. Look. That's why it's so cheap, and that's why it keeps falling apart. Screening room. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Imagine the, the, this is how projectors used to be to play films. Holy crap. What the hell, what the hell is, is this? Okay, let's get the focus. Uh, slow it down. Slow it down. Oh, oh. 
here we go. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Huh. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Ah. Oh. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Harlan He's Fontaine, we saw him earlier. Suburban redevelopment. He's an investor. Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California. Curtis Benson, our boss. Here, Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Donald Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen. Police Chief. I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I huh. found that those of Autistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Huh. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Huh. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream. Damn. And Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Can I throw them up fast enough, Ray? <laughs> That's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. <laughs> public housing is tantamount to communism. <laughs> now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds via the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. Ooh. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean <laughs> our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes okay. a long time to raise three billion dollars. Three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Okay, alright, so that uh, movie was confusing, but it's basically showing like all the people that are corrupt uh, and are in charge of this development fund. The Blue Room. Okay, let's talk to Elsa. Give her an update on what we found out. Oh, is that Cole? Damn. Are we going to see Cole too? Is Kelso and Cole going to meet again? Damn. <laughs> Cole's just saying hi. Saying he's here. Oh, Cole's going to the back alley. Um, huh. Ah, oh, Kelso is meeting up with Elsa. Okay. Cole's gonna be like, what did he tell you? What were you doing with him? What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. Yeah. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. <laughs> Why do you snarl at me? Yeah. Calm down, Your Cole. Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. <laughs> I think he's a brave man. And you have placed him in great danger. Oh. You've involved him in something and he has no idea of the risk. Oh. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa. Um. I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. Whoa. He deserves a chance to say no. Wow. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Damn. Oh, I'm kissing Elsa again. Someone watching me? I feel like someone is. Oh, damn, Cole. Damn, Cole. Jeez, calm down. All right, we're still playing as Kelso. Investigate the another site. Okay. So, we're at the Elysian Field sites at 9 o'clock. Hmm, am I going to be doing some snooping around, maybe? Ah, the building across the street. The light's on. Let's check it out. Oh, someone up here? Huh? <gasps> you lose something, Max? Oh. Uh I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Oh, no. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. No. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? No, they're going to kill him. You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Wait, what? We, <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, shit. He knocked me out. Okay, get up, Kelso. Quickly, get him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm getting beaten up. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, shit. This is bad. Oh, shit. Come on, Kelso. Oh, shit. Oh. He, they knocked me out. Um, you were warned, tough guy. You were warned, tough guy. You're going to take a hint. 
Damn. Get them downstairs and in the trunk. They're going to put me in the trunk of their car. No, 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 no. Please do not do that. Oh, poor Kelso. He's uh, being dragged into this. Oh, I'm in the trunk of their car. Let me out. Oh, my goodness. I think I have a fear of being trapped in the, in the trunk of a car. What the hell? Oh, no. These guys were hired to roughen me up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Sure, he turned up all right. <gasps> He's wishing he didn't. Uh He's in the trunk. Oh, He's going nowhere. Shit. The boys introduce themselves. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Mr. Monroe! Yeah, I know a good place. The guy on the billboards! Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. What? It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. Mr. Monroe just... Deal with that German bitch next. The German girl! <laughs> oh, Mr. Monroe has ordered them to kill Kelso. No! Don't tell me Kelso's gonna die. It's all Cole's fault. Oh, Cole, what did you get Kelso into? And they just said that they wanted to kill Elsa too? Oh, he managed to escape. Oh. Uh-oh, did they realize? Uh-oh, they realized. Oh, no. Kelso, run. Elsa. Shit, yes, yeah, save Elsa. Oh, shit, get in a vehicle. Any vehicle will do. Just run. Okay, we made it to Elsa's apartment. What other choice do we have? We got no choice. Elsa, you need to help us. Because they're going to come after you, too. What did I get Elsa involved in? Man, we should have just taken the money, guys. Take the money. Let, let the rich people do their thing, guys. Man, money, it corrupts people, guys. They do not care. It's never enough money. Damn, never enough. Elsa, you in here? Help, please. Yeah. Do you think Cole's here? <laughs> oh, Cole is here. Oh. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. Damn. Kelso. Oh, shit, he passed out. For God's sake, Cole. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. We can't call an ambulance because, you know, uh, then something might happen to him. I don't know. I don't trust anyone right now. Oh, House of Sticks, guys. Shit. Guys, I think we are coming so close to the end. All right, there is a big conspiracy going on and there's only us, only Cole Phelps and Kelso have to solve it. Okay, guys, it's already been three missions. so I'm going to end the video there. We are going to finish the game next episode, guys. I am so excited to see how the story finishes. I, co I completely forgot the ending. So I'm really glad we're playing through it again. Either way, though, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the L.A. Noir series. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I've always wanted to do a Let's Play on it. So I'm so happy that I'm finally doing it. So big shout out to you guys who are also enjoying it. And I'll see you very soon in the next and the last episode, guys. Be sure to hit a like uh, if you want the series to conclude. But obviously, it's going to conclude. Either way, though, guys, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you all so much for hanging out and spending time with me. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.